Hi guys and welcome back to Archie Hamilton Racing and to another video where this one is going to be fun and a car which is coming to someone's garage in my family. All to be revealed but before we get going this video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. A lot of you guys are into your photography, your film, your video. Skillshare has all of that of classes for you. I've been using Using it and my favorite class because this is just something which I like in terms of uh, productivity when you're out filming you're doing different stuff filming different cars all of that my favorite class is called simple productivity how to accomplish more with less taught by Greg Mikio. also Skillshare is created specifically for learning meaning that there is no ads and there is always new premium classes becoming available as well. So incredibly affordable for under $10 a month and it's also an annual subscription. The first 1,000 subscribers, you guys that click the description, the link in the description, you will get a free two month trial. So click down below, get going. Let's get cracking with the video, off so we go. Here we go, we are off and it is time to go and show you a certain car because I've shown my dad on the channel before but I've never shown my mum on the channel and uh, keep the comments nice on this one ladies and gentlemen please um, but today I'm going to show you a car which I got my mum uh, organized it all sorted out the finance sorted out getting the right car everything she wanted her kind of dream it is her kind of dream car she buzzing around from A to B it's perfect so let's talk about her history with cars and the car which we've got her so growing up she's had things like mercedes estate she had a mini clubman i phoned up dean from dmb collection and i was like what can we get her like what's the right kind of thing uh, and he said definitely a range rover but i also really like the price and the value of a range rover velar so i called her back and i was like range rover velar what do you reckon and we got there we got the deal done well, I've just arrived now at the uh, Plough Inn and uh, to meet your mum. So we're going to uh, show her her brand new car, which of course is right behind me here. So we've made the way from uh, Leeds this morning all the way down to uh, London to present your mum with this fabulous car. Now, the car itself is the top of the range D300, um, which I'm sure she'll be really pleased about because these cars come with pretty much everything you can think of. I'll show you different features of the car because it's something where a lot of people want me to show more of the everyday kind of cars and this is a perfect kind of way to do that as well. So let's do that and uh, show you what it's like at my mum's Range Rover Villa. Okay, and it is now time to show you the car. Obviously, I've just been uh, talking about it. But yes, my mum's new Range Rover Velar. It is uh, very cool, out in the countryside. Very nice day, I'm still gonna talk about the weather, but here it is, and it looks amazing as well. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk you through the spec, talk to you about it, talk to you about monthly prices, talk to you about everything about uh, this Velar, because honestly, it actually is uh, the top of the range. And Dean, uh, we, like, we've just found the right car. Uh, cool to look at, look at it sort of, look at it sort of. Okay, so let's have a little walk around my mum's new car. Honestly, I love the look of this. And we just saw so many different cars and then coming to this was uh, was perfect, really, the conclusion of this car. Um, yeah, like I say, black on black on black with the rear window tints as well, as you can see. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, the top of the range car. These cars are roughly uh, brand new. They're £70,000, but oh, it's a lot of cars for £70,000. Obviously, second-hand market, a lot less uh, than that. This car is a 3-litre V6 diesel. Does 0 to 60 in 6.1 seconds. You might think that's slow, but it's uh, it's cool. Look at it. It does look flipping amazing, doesn't it? I love, personally, the look of the Velar. I think that's where the stance of the... It is very, very good. But we're going to walk inside because I actually really like this. Wait, let me just show you with the handle. Because uh, one thing, you get the key, turn it off, turn it off, lock it, basically. And then you open it, 
then your little handle comes out. I actually really like that. Didn't have that in the SVR. Uh, but then we go inside and this is where it is very nice. This is like a two-tone ivory and black leather interior, which is uh, still today very popular. Um, the internals of the Dynamic R gets you things like massaging seats, full electrics, heated seats, uh, the twin screens now with the virtual cockpit inside as well uh, really make this car extremely modern uh, and almost future-proof to some extent. Um, so even in a couple of years time, the Volar will still be a very current, good looking car. It's only done 13,000 miles. Low mileage car, everybody. We like that, but it is a good place to be. And obviously in today's world with these new uh, Range Rovers, Land Rovers, etc., this is where your biggest game changer is in terms of the dash. It really does change it. Should we start it up? Then you can see obviously diesel so it's not going to make a crazy noise but it doesn't make a bad noise Digital display which you have right there all of the buttons now are digitally done get the very nice sunroof makes a massive difference when you're cruising along in the summer and it is a wafter in here you are wafting ladies and gentlemen so comfortable so drivable and perfect for everyday uh stuff you could go for the svr and things like that which i've had it's a lot harder ride and this it's good. So one thing obviously is uh, what were the other options? What were her other options? The other options were a BMW X6. These are the direct rivals to the Velar actually, funnily enough. Um, BMW X6 and a Volvo XC90 and a Mercedes GLE Coupe. They are sort of your direct competitors uh, for it. And to be honest with you, it was actually, a lot of it was down to what was more practical day to day, but also fuel economy. And these fuel economy are amazing. 44.1 miles per gallon. And that is, uh, yeah, basically you're hardly ever fueling it up and I think that's amazing obviously diesel a little bit controversial it's sat there look at it sat there look at it sat there yeah because this is the top of the range you get the 21 inch alloys at no extra cost so that's one thing uh, which you can do because these cars they vary so much in price and as you can see on the back here this is the d300 hse uh so uh yeah like i say dean uh, has told me many many times that this is literally the top of the range what is not going hmm i mean she hasn't had it that long and she's already curbed the wheel yes stay away from me I am. <laughs> do you like my mum's new car my mum's not in the video, so if you want to pretend to be my mum, you can. Good old boy, it looks very comfortable. One thing I would say, Archie, if, you, if I may. Yeah, go. Um, you need black centre caps or anything. Oh, yeah. Quid. I Fine. I for my range as well. There, well that, that would actually change it massively, having uh, mm. black centre caps. Yeah. Uh, apart from that, there's actually not much more you can do. Oh, no, black badges. Mm. Yes. Well, we, we, me and Dean, mate, we found a... We found uh, the right car. Found a corker. Yes, found a, found a corker. Uh, but they are, mate, they're wafters, honestly. You drive that along and you are having a great time. Are you having it off in there? Yeah, if you want to. Yeah, I don't even know no, neither do I. But we're going with it. Your mum's had a good old. Uh... Yeah, oh, go easy with that chat. Uh, oh, I didn't know where that chat was going. Does she know what she's doing? I also don't know where that chat's going either. <laughs> Quickly tell you one of the facts that you might not know, Tom, um, about this car, right? Yeah. R Dynamic. All right? Yeah. It's an R Dynamic car. Wait there. Stay where you are. Just remembering what you're going to say. You're definitely not going to be looking it up. Yeah, not going to be looking it up on my Huawei, Tom. Okay. Now. It's not called R Dynamic for nothing. Engage dynamic mode and everything comes further to life. It sharpens throttle and steering response, firms up the suspension response and raises gear change points, transforming the feel of the vehicle. It's a bit like having two cars in one. You done? I definitely didn't read that off anything. No, he was. For those wondering, he wasn't reading that. <laughs> Do you want to know? Do you want to know the facts and figures of this car? How much it costs per month? You're going to tell everyone anyway, probably in a roundabout way. Do you want to know how much this car costs yeah, a month? Six hundred and forty-nine pounds a month. All right. With roughly six thousand pounds in. So yeah. About seven grand a year. Eight yeah. Grand a year. Yeah. About seven or eight grand a year to drive a Range Rover Velar. Not bad. Good old boy. But it's also not good. But anyway, <laughs> but. For her, it's great, so I'm not I'm not complaining. And it, will she watch this? She has never watched a YouTube video of mine in her life. My mum, my mum uh, goes on the treadmill and watches mine. No, no, that's not what my mum does. Uh, she, I think she's seen some of yours as well. She doesn't understand when it flicks onto your channel at the end. 
She just thinks it's all mine because I'm in it as well. Oh. Ah. She's not with it. But. Yeah. Well, anyway, maybe <laughs> maybe you could uh, get your mum a Ranger of Valar as well. No. Okay. Um, but yeah, it is a very, very... Huh? Got. <laughs> There we go, let's fire up. Oh, it's cool how the seat moves forward as well. Uh, we're gonna go for a little drive, so then we can uh, get a feeling, and you guys can see what it's really like to drive a Range Rover Velar. And it's the comfort levels. I think that's one thing which is just a massive, just I'm not used to driving cars like this really, like every day, but in terms of a daily, uh, it's just great. In terms of fuel economy, it's just great. Um, so yeah, she's gonna do um, many happy miles in this car will she modify it there we go there's a question which people are probably wondering she's your mum so will she modify it like you modify yours she probably won't ruin every car that like i ruin mine sound system is top of the range as well everything meridian meridian sound system that's exactly what i had in my uh range over sport svr um and in terms of because obviously it feels it looks like a lot smaller of a car you don't really feel you still feel that high up and i really like that feeling and a lot of people actually really like that feeling of being high up and feeling safe um, and you do actually get that in terms of like i say top of the range you can pick up a velar for like 44 grand 45 grand for the two liter etc uh, but i know that these cars are very 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 spec dependent it's just you're just wafting along you're, you're driving without even realizing that you're driving and that is the best part maybe you'll see more of this car i'm not quite sure all i wanted to do was kind of share uh the experience of her getting the car and uh yeah it's actually i'm actually really happy that i've made the contacts that i've made in this industry because she didn't quite understand it before and now i sort of arranged it all to happen to get this car and it's just uh really really cool that she's now driving around in something which she's always wanted so um I do have to deliver it back safely. That's uh, I have been getting phone calls uh, many, many times. One thing to sum it up in this experience of driving this car briefly, um, it's luxury. And now for the price that you could get all of this interior and everything and the looks and for the price, it's just crazy. I wonder if there's some roof out, actually. Oh, no, we don't want that one. How do we put the sunroof back? Got no idea, I'm gonna break it. So I've just jumped out of the Velar and it is awesome. Look at it sat there, flipping out. It looks incredible, doesn't it? I'm a fan, I am a massive fan. After spending some time in it just now, driving it along, it is honestly really cool. And uh, I wouldn't actually rule out myself getting one as a daily one day, um, but yeah, couldn't be happier for my mum. She's gonna enjoy many happy miles in it. Um, and I just really like it. I just think they're good little cars, very comfortable, very fuel efficient, everything about them, looks, you name it, it has got it. And maybe one day if she lets me, we can take it to a drag race and maybe we can do a BMW X6 or GLE and I don't know, 6.1 not to see. I will leave this video there. Leave comments down below if there's anything else you want to see. I don't think, or I kind can know, I'm not gonna put my mum on camera. I thought that was a step too far and she didn't want to, so I was like, no, not happening um but uh, maybe if she ever replaced it we'll do something else and uh, we'll see how we get on down the line but i hope you guys have enjoyed this video and i hope you enjoy the velar because i think honestly i've said it before i'll say it again they are awesome so if you're interested in the market to go in looking and look, potentially purchasing one just go do it they're good don't forget to subscribe guys if you haven't already i'll see you all very soon